Chris here with Music Marketing TV. Today we're looking at Transit. We're going to be adding it to this track. It is a track I've been working on for a bit. It sounds like this. Yes, and then ideally, you know, we go somewhere else. So I played it in and sort of just got a vibe for what I was going for. Some timing things I probably want to tighten up a little bit more. But it's at a point now where I want to consider some of the transitional portions. Uh, originally, I had this idea of adding in layers, but I decided against it. Uh, but this bell sound here... <laughs> There's that big space where things just sort of hang, which is already cool by itself, in my opinion. But let's go ahead and grab transit and see if we can't do something a little cool there. So we could go down the custom route, but here I think some inspiration just from some of the presets could probably be a great way to start. I'm just sort of randomly kicking, click kicking, randomly clicking and uh, seeing what we get here. <laughs> Well, that would definitely be a vibe change for sure. Maybe lose, maybe lose the distortion on this one. And maybe we dial the auto pan back a bunch. Let's go with that. Let's go with that as our first move. So I'm going to go to browse parameters. Uh, move this. this. is the global transition control. It's the first one here. And we'll have this just fade in. We'll have it start coming in here. Actually, the hold starts over here, but let's, let's not start from straight zero here and just see. All right, maybe we do need a little more. Let's put some gas on it. Let's give it a little more of that auto pan. And maybe we have it just fade down quickly at the end instead. Let's have it do the same thing again. And so to do this, I'm hitting the uh, right shift. I use my left hand to do this though, because um, why not? And you can control click to bring the automation clips in front or behind each other. If you want to make sure there's no overlap, I tend to, uh, they overlap. I don't know. I don't know if one triggers, if it changes the way it triggers, I'm just being safe, I guess. So these two spots right here, I think are fine for this. <laughs> change the tone let's activate the movement option and have it change tone at the same time and let's have it maybe be up a bit higher so there's already some verb going so it gets a bit further on the verb maybe we actually pull it this way to make it move just a little more Both those moves combined is probably a little too much. Maybe this is all we need. Yeah, I like that. Let's hear the second go. Oh, okay. So on this one, we want this to be a bit different. So I'm going to click and hit make unique, or you could just hit M when it's open. And we want this one to just sort of fade out a little bit more over time. I'm actually not even sure how long we want this fade out to be. Maybe we make it pretty long.
right, now we could do something here. It actually lends itself pretty well to there, but maybe having it off for a bit, this is something I might come back to and decide because when you're doing it all at once, you know, we tend to want to put it on like everything. So I'm going to hold back here um, and maybe down the line, I'll decide to, to add it in and think that that's the thing. But I think a fresh listen would help me on that one. Uh, and this outro is pretty nice. Now, if you're wondering about the, the warbly, the, it changes quite a bit. Um, it's because there's two layers. There's one that's really detuned and one that's, you know, just not. And so there's a volume. You see, this is off the whole time. And then it comes in as a layer at the very end. So that's what that is in case you were wondering. So I like that. Um, I actually really like what it does for our layer two here uh, section. Uh, on this transition, let's see if we can't find something here. We've got a couple other layers to play with. So we have these two layers. We have this piano layer that is playing these lower notes. Um, in fact, I can make these a much different color. And let's just make them green or something. So we'll hit Alt-C to change them. That way it's clear where they are. I like having them in the same pattern so I can see what MIDI they go with. And, you know, they're, they're part of these chords. So sometimes the, la the lanes are just empty because I want it. I want them there for the ghost notes and things. Uh, but here we've got these like low notes. I think actually when they come in the first time, it's pretty nice. These things. Here, there is some potential for, I think, a growing distortion. This could be too much uh, for what's coming on here, but let's let's give it a go. So this is our piano layer, and let's grab a transit and stick that on there. And let's see, do they have them categorized at all? Um, no, they do not. They're just, well, they've got transitions, other, um, I don't know. Let's go for just some random ones here. Heavy birds. Let's see what that gives us. There's a verb in here. I'm not sure we want verbs. Maybe we'll we'll fine tune it a little bit. Let's just hear this this outro is where it's gonna be kind of like maximized, right? And let's go ahead and solo up the piano layer. Or actually, we can't do it through here because of the way I did this. So let's go ahead and solo up the piano layer here. <laughs> let's go for another one. I definitely don't want discrete delays, so we'll probably get rid of any discrete delay stuff. Some of these rely on movement, I think. I'm just interested in a, in a general texture. That could be cool. Uh, let's use the flanger. That's what's making that sound. Style back the verb. Let's get rid of the delay. Now let's hit stop. To Okay, and for this, um, we might need to add a, a game module to this. Um, I forgot what they call it. There's a thing for it. utility, uh, just to control the volume of what's going on here. So let's go ahead and browse uh, parameters. I like what this one's given us. We'll move this, it'll take us right there. And let's add this in. Obviously, we want it off before and after. And actually, I'm just going to put a blank clip over here so that it was always initialized at zero. When we go back, it can cause playback issues. It's kind of a weird deal with FL. 
And then let's just have it sort of grow and then just fade out, I think. Maybe actually, maybe that's the curve we want. Let's see. It sounds like it's just loud the whole time. Uh, which means that some of these things are on by default when we put them on. So we have two options here. The one is we can go through and find the things we want to be lower when, and then mix them on. Uh, the other option is just to automate the wet dry mix. Um, so I'm just gonna do that. So we'll go to global mix and let's link it to the automation we're already using. So, oh, they've redone how they do this. Um, if I go to link to controller, I'm actually not sure why it won't let me pick this. So instead, what we're gonna do, because I need to apparently visit the manual for the newer way they do this, is um, just automate it, <laughs> and we'll just we'll just bring it off. Uh, we'll have it mix on rather quickly. Probably we'll we'll see if we want this on. This is gonna basically make this curve lower effectively, and then we'll we'll bring it out at the same time over here, and we'll have it on. The the, the fade out will happen like like that. So let's see. So let's go ahead and add that gain module. So we've got gain in the utility. We're gonna turn this on and we're going to have it turn down. So it's going to go this way. So this little like arrow points the direction it's gonna move and we're gonna to need to lose some volume here because there's a huge boost from the OTT. And we'll just adjust it until we get over here. Somewhere around there. Here, one more time. Do it. That way, it's not just creeping up out of the mix like a like a monster. Okay, uh, let's unsolo everything and hear it. Actually, is, is perfect. It fit right in, not in the way. Added some cool, just an extra cool little motion. That was it. I think that's all I want to do with transit on this one. Um, I don't. I actually think the parts themselves and the arrangement carry it. I do want to go through and maybe touch up some of the rhythm. There's a few things that could be a little more tight, but other than that, um, I think we'll call it good there. So here is our after with our transits now in place. And let's, uh, let's get those on screen, right? So we'll get this one. We'll just sort of put these over here. All right, here we go. There you have it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.